Alright, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratash here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you guys another video. So I hope you all are doing well and that you're having a great day. Today is Monday, March 2nd of 2020. Now what we are looking at here in this video today, I'm going to be giving you all some of my thoughts and perspectives on an update video recently posted by Charles talking about some of the uh, more significant updates to the network that we're anticipating here coming up. So if you guys do find some value from this video here today, be sure to smash that like button for me. And if you guys are new to the channel and if you enjoy content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I want to keep you guys informed and up to date. Click that notification bell so you can get notified when I post a new video. So to give you all some of my thoughts, recently Charles Hoskinson came out with an update video. He posted it on his Twitter. I think you guys would find a lot of value from watching that video. I'm going to link to that for you down in the description below. But here's some of my thoughts taking a look at it here. So now the significant updates to the network that we're anticipating here coming up is going to be the Byron reboot and the Shelley Haskell testnet. Um, they're anticipating that both should happen within the next five weeks or so. Now, what does that mean for you? Well, the Byron reboot is a mainnet network upgrade. And what it's gonna do essentially is it's gonna upgrade the code base to prepare for the transition over to Shelley. Now, there's nothing that you need to do necessarily. Uh, there might be a new version of Daedalus that you might have to download. I'm gonna show you all how to do that as we go forward and get closer to that date. Uh, depending on what type of updates uh, that brings to the network, you know, we'll discuss that in the future videos. But uh, yeah, there's nothing that you need to do as far as getting your coins prepared for anything like that. There's no new ADA being created. It's just an update to the network. Uh, now, the next thing that we're anticipating is going to be the Shelly Haskell testnet. So this is going to be a testnet upgrade. And if you are operating a stake pool, this is going to be relevant for you. Currently, we're on a Rust code base. And what the team is going to be doing with this upgrade is going to be transitioning the code base from Rust over to Haskell. And this is going to be on the testnet. So they're going to be testing this uh, to make sure that it is ready in preparation for launching on the mainnet. Uh, so that's going to be pretty much where, what we're anticipating here, most likely in March. Um, well, probably end of March, now that, uh, now that I look at it. It's already March 2nd. Time's just flying. It's crazy. But um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be anticipating here. Uh, many people in the community have also been asking some questions regarding staking Cardano. So I'm sure that there's a lot of interest regarding staking Cardano as we're anticipating Shelly here coming up in the near future. I just wanted to highlight some of those questions that I've been receiving. Uh, most notably, um, is there a minimum number of ADA that you need to hold in order to start staking? Well, that's the great thing about Cardano. There is no minimum requirement to start staking. Uh, you can hold one ADA and you can earn passive rewards. The number of ADA that you hold will determine the amount of rewards that you'll earn. Um, Another question that I've had from a lot of people is questions about operating a Cardano stake pool. Uh, what do you need to get started? Well, it's pretty straightforward. You just, uh, you need some basic hardware. Uh, me personally, I'm going through the process right now of building a Cardano on the rocks stake pool with a rock pie. Um, the video updates are gonna be posted here on the channel. One thing to keep in mind also, if you are gonna be going through the process of setting up your stake pool, Keep in mind that with the update that we just talked about, we're gonna be transitioning the code base from Rust over to Haskell. So in the case that you are going through the process of building it and setting it up, you are most likely gonna to have to be updating your system with the updated code base coming up probably within the next few weeks. So just something to keep in mind uh, if you are gonna go through the process of building a stake pool. So guys, I did hope that you found some value. Again, if you guys haven't checked out Charles's video, go ahead and check it out. There's lots of value from there. It's a quick six, seven minute video. Uh, but these are just some of my thoughts and I wanted to thank you guys again for all of your continued support. Thank you for everybody that's been liking the videos. For all of you new subscribers, welcome. I really appreciate all the support. Uh, it really does mean a lot. So anyway, guys, that is it for this video here today. Be sure to smash that like button on your way out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.